<laughs> one of our agendas in the reasonably near future, a discussion on whether or not we should consider withdrawing from the Rockingham Planning Commission. I agree with that I am prepared to, to so move at such time as you are willing to have a brief discussion on that matter. I do believe the time has come. So if you would okay. be kind enough to put any, that on wherever you want Before we just move off of that, any, any comments? Yeah, I'll make a comment about that. I remember n not saying that my reasoning was well uh, founded back then, but I can remember being on the budget committee several years ago and saying, why are we paying for this? What are they doing for us? Mm -hmm. And I, in the case to prove my position, they come in here with this big drawing how they're going to redo the intersection with the expressway in Lafayette Road, the Route 1. It's going to cost <laughs> millions of dollars to tear it all down so they can build this squared off thing like we have out in Kansas. What do we get out of it? We get a huge expenditure of money. We lose some of our identity of being kind of unique here in Hampton, New England town and all that manure, excuse me, all that stuff. And uh, it just seemed like to me they come up with these ideas and it doesn't seem like they really seem to be too concerned about what we think here in Hampton. And to make it worse, it sounds like it's a function of the government. It is not. It's a private mm -hmm. entity yes. that sucks money out of grants from HUD and such places. Right. Right. Do we need that? No. no. Do we need more money spent at the federal level on frivolous things here in Hampton? No. It's nice to have money to spend, but let's spend it on the right things for mm -hmm. a change. And I think they're absolutely worthless. That's my opinion. Thank you. Um, and we're paying a planner and an assistant to the planner, and that's right. supposed to be. It was fourteen um, or fifteen thousand dollars. Twelve a something, a twelve. Well, whatever year, it is. Yeah. Okay. My my comment. Um, Are we going to the the before we get to the point of saying we're going to put it on the agenda? My my comment is is that the interaction with the RPC, the role that they play, the budget for the what is it, Fred? Ten or eleven thousand or something like it's that. It's eleven thousand and change. Yeah. So it's like twelve thousand round figures. Yeah, yes. is 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 in the um, planning board. Yes. I I have a a problem with 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 this board making a judgment that we're no longer going to have a relationship with an organization whose primary interaction with the town is with another board. Well, let me let me yeah. let me just because I'm. I'm we went through this a few years ago right. yeah. in discussions, mm -hmm. and we looked it up, and it was a town meeting that voted to give the authority to join or not to join to the Board of Select. Well, I'm not questioning the legal authority. So, uh, you know, if you want to take an action, I suppose you can. Right. But and and it's, I'm not saying it for the, for the lead, you know, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't feel myself that, that I have a tremendous amount of knowledge in that area okay. and what goes on. Um, you know, yeah. in terms of the interaction between the planning board and the planner and the RPC and whatever, and I would not feel comfortable in, in, in even, <coughs> even making that judgment. So my suggestion, okay, as a first step, rather than prior to us discussing it, is that Mary Louise raise that proposal yes, as an issue yes. at the next planning board meeting and that we get before we meet to start discussing it, we get see what kind of feedback that, that, that Mary Louise gets from the planning board. May I, Mr. Chairman? Mm -hmm. uh, how much does it cost us per year to belong to this? Just under 12000 Phil. Okay. Uh, I'm reading off their website, their mission statement. It's a uh, voluntary local public organization. Raise your hand if you do that. Um, <laughs> it's established on the law. Uh, its representatives are appointed by municipalities. The representatives set commission policy, not town of Hampton policy, but commission policy. Mm -hmm. They make monetary decisions. They're making monetary decisions that apparently affect the town of Hampton um, and decide what work the commission will get involved in. Commission membership is voted on at town and city council meetings and an individual mis municipality served. Uh, it, uh, it seems to be a, a, a duplication of uh, our, our own capabilities. You are correct. Uh, it is a uh, mm -hmm. another uh, central planning authority. You're right. Uh, the uh, membership uh, is anybody from Hampton on the Rockingham Planning Commission? Yes. yes. Who's on it? Fran McMahon is on it. 
Warren Banbury had been on it he for left 30 years, and there is now an open position, which I suspect after yeah. the next meeting we'll be well, asked I to fill. Isn't uh, Oh, what's her name? Uh, on there, the, uh, the, the wife of the... Barbara uh, Kravitz uh, has asked to Kravitz, replace right. Mr. Bambury. Right. However, oh, okay. my point being, before the end of the year, I hope to, that we can discuss this and get us out of that. Uh, I'm just suggesting okay. it's the first step you bring it up. And may, may I just go on since you raised it and the website's up. Uh, their, their membership services are they prepare and update a regional master plan. We have a planner. We have the Hampton yes. Beach Area Commission. We've yes. got our plan down there. Yes. They develop uh, and maintain model regulations and ordinances. Um, I think we, we do a pretty good job at that. Yeah. They provide educational seminars and workshops. Okay, mm. uh, It's a maintenance of local, regional, and statewide statistics. I don't think we need that. Right. Regional transportation planning. <laughs> again, this is a, a central planning authority that, yes. that is uh, yeah. an encumbrance, perhaps, mm -hmm. which is leads you to, to your sentiment. Uh, regional housing assessment. We have had some disagreements with some of those initiatives, Selectman Pierce. Okay. Technical assistance with GIS and mapping. Nobody needs technical assistance with yeah. GIS and mapping anymore. Yeah. Um, maintenance of a library of planning books. We <laughs> don't need that. Assistance in ongoing regional household hazardous waste collection. I don't think we need that. Um, access to planning grants. We have a planner. Um, we, we have folks that can pursue those and assistance to local energy committees. Dick DeRoche is probably the finest energy guy with, with your uh, contributions. So that's that's what they offer. Um, and uh, again, it's $12,000 a year. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it might make a good uh, decision not to, yeah. not to belong to them. It's not so much the dollar amount of the dues. It is duplication of effort. It is right. also uh, people who don't live here sticking their noses in like the Route 1 corridor. Uh, study and that we are paying a planner we have an assistant to the planner and I think this is a long long uh, overdue long uh, long past time to get rid of it uh, so if you want it on the agenda for next week well I'm I've been sitting as your representative member I got my arm twisted and I will <laughs> say I'm enjoying myself serving on the planning board and they're very nice <laughs> gentlemen and I have had an opportunity to see some of these things close at hand and all they're doing is funneling grant money mm. to people who do not live in this community right. to bring in harebrained schemes I'm sorry like the route one sub-district and triple sub-district and whatever the heck they're doing over there so as far as I'm concerned I you know I take it off tonight but you want to put it on a what subsequent what agenda what, um, what I would like to do is is for as first step for you to raise it <coughs> and express what you've expressed tonight to the planning board. I okay, can. if the planning board Again. disagrees mm -hmm. with that, mm -hmm. to suggest that the planning board set up an appointment with the selectmen, okay, to express their desires. They are the board that has most of the interface on this stuff, and they should have a say. One other thing I might want to add: I've heard that this is not really documented proof or fact that the Regional Planning Commission, in our case Rockingham, helps locate projects on the State Transportation Department's yeah, yeah. agenda. Yeah. So but one really. might be able to argue that if you don't have their support, you're not going to get this road paved or whatever. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what, how many of you people feel about that's true or not. I've heard that rumor around a couple of times so you got to be careful not to kick them in the teeth but I can't see what they've done for us they haven't paved any roads like our bars lately right. I, I'm just suggesting I'd like to hear what the planning board I'm not arguing the opposite side of right. your statements I'd just like to hear what the you planning board you just want board. me to get those poor okay. guys upset again there you All go right. okay any other new business <laughs>